let's be honest, in life, there are the people who are the brains in business, the people who are the thinkers and have grand ideas, but aren't really sure what to do next to make that idea succeed. And then there are the doers, the worker bees, if you will, who are happy to help other people's ideas flourish. That's exactly what today's Across the Table guest is all about. He's even founded a business bearing his name that promises its clients the opportunity to work with people who would prefer to get their hands dirty in the trenches instead of sitting in a boardroom. I sat down recently with Matt Jensen of Matt Jensen Marketing at JJ's Wine, Spirits and Cigars to hear more. Thank you so much, Matt, for meeting me here today at JJ's. Well, thanks for having me. I'm drinking a glass of red wine. It's a Pinot Noir. I am having a 2023 Club Soda. 2023. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Refreshing. Great year. <laughs> well, Matt, you have had quite the success when it comes to being involved in marketing. Mm. So is this something that you knew you wanted to do growing up? Well, it's a good question. Uh, you know, looking back, I don't ever remember a time when I wasn't marketing, but right. I, did, I didn't know it at the yeah. time. I mean, I, you know, I have a marketing company now, and for a long time, I did marketing before becoming the CEO of Vance Thompson Vision, which a lot of that was marketing, although not the classic sense of it, not, right. not just advertising, but team culture and the the work itself is the marketing, but. Going back to my very first job, I had I worked at an ice cream shop in Pierre, South Dakota, and you know you can make up your own Sundays and name them. It was at the Zesto, and if you had been there long enough, I've met the owners of Zesto. Yeah, yeah. Rick They're Rick Newman is a very good friend still, and it's still the uh, best little piece of Americana, um, you know, in in you know the region there for kind of summertime memories. Um, and so, you know, the promotion of those things, the coming up with them, the making of the signs, putting them on the glass within this little walk-up ice cream shop. I mean, I remember doing that as early as, you know, well, I can't tell you how early I worked there. <laughs> but, Give away the age. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, for a long time. And so I was always promoting something and um, uh, trying to, you know, have the work speak for itself. What is it about marketing that you love so much? Because there's a lot of different things you can do with marketing. Mm -hmm. You know, the, I think the best thing about marketing, and I, I've become more choosy about what I, what I like to market, um, but I like the idea of through communication, having people go from here to there. Um, now, that's just the basics of marketing or communications. And now, uh, at this stage of my life, I, I like people, you know, I like to help people move from here to there and to be sure that when they do, their life is better. And you mentioned too, when we got started talking that when you were with Vance Thompson Vision, the team culture was part of your role. You know, talking about that, creating good team culture. And when it comes to promoting that, I know on the side, you like to do things, you know, to help with employers, with new employees to create a good team culture. Why do you think that having a good team culture is so important? Well, you know, it's, it's interesting. It's, it's really, um, I found, and I think people can agree, it's easy to get inspired, right? Whether it's on Sunday morning or through a book you're reading or a podcast, people can sit behind the wheel of their car and think, man, I'm really pumped up, but it's hard to stay there. You know, and I like to say that in the first 15 years of my career, it was all about understanding the customer experience, how they should feel going through your business process. And now, uh, I think the next 15 years are going to be dedicated to training because it's easy to get inspired by the customer experience, right. but nobody knows how to stage it. That kind of training creates an experience-based culture, but it's hard to have an create an experience-based culture without using those examples in training. It, right. it just becomes a good sermon or a good lecture, you know, but until you've noticed how to do it in real time, it's difficult. So I think that's, uh, you know, the inspiration is a critical part of it, but then the training on the inspiration is the part of it that I think is really missing in business today. Well, let's learn a little bit more about you. And I know that you said you don't really have a ton of hobbies, but you live on a hobby farm. It's true. Yeah. But I'm mostly just <laughs> unpaid labor there. Right. I mean, I, um, you know, my wife has had this passion of, um, of hospitality. I mean, she's always had a heart for people who are in need. Uh, she's a family physician, but really in recent years, um, she has wanted that to come into our home, not just in a clinic. It's super fun and harmless. It's a lot of work. Yeah, it, a hobby um, farm. Yeah, 
but it's, um, it's dirty, clean living and we really like it, mm -hmm. but I don't, you know, she's got a vision for that. I just try to support it. I, yeah. I just try to, you know, do the work that's hard yeah. there and uh, she's got a dream. So, oh, well, it sounds fun to have all those animals around, Yeah. but you mentioned your daughters. Tell me a little bit more about your family. Yeah. Okay. So I've been married 20 years this year and oh, congratulations. Um, yeah, 20 amazing years for me. Um, 15 and a half happy years for my wife. That's just a funny joke. A yeah. So, um, so, uh, I've got a daughter who's a junior, a daughter who's a sophomore and a daughter who's an eighth grader. So this next year, um, you know, I'll have four in high school and it's, it's amazing. That's a lot. It's a lot of girl power at our house. We're big believers in the spice girls. We uh, talk a lot about our feelings, but they're, they're amazing young women who are going to do um, and already are doing amazing things with their friends in school and community. So what motivates you? Well, that's a, you know, that's a hard question. What I tend to have to fight every day is I'm, I'm motivated by self a lot, by, mm -hmm. by goal oriented things, achieving things like achieving. being successful. Yeah. And I'm, I mean, I, I happily drink from that cup. Um, but I, I end up finding myself really unhappy mm -hmm. there if I stay too long. And, um, and that's always been what I've pushed hard for. And it's fun because you can put up numbers there and you can do a lot of really good work and there's good work to be done. Mm -hmm. But I find what motivates me is when I can do the quiet things, um, one on one to help people get out of a jam or help people find what they're wanting to accomplish mm -hmm. in life. And I've had a few people that I've confided in over the years, um, who really gave me a word of wisdom. And I feel like I'm kind of at that spot in life where that's, that's what I want to do. That Give really, words of yeah, wisdom. That, yeah, that really gets me excited is getting people out of the mud. And, um, and there's not a lot of self glorification in that, Yeah, you know, cause it's, um, but it makes you feel really it's good. their work that they're going to do good at and their dreams. Yeah. And I just, I just get the great feeling of being, you know, somebody who you pushed hard yeah. behind him. So well, you know, cheers. Hey, cheers. <laughs> nice to talk with you. Yes. Thank you so much for joining My me. My pleasure. At JJ's, they like to say they provide an enhanced adult beverage experience. And we think that's just perfect to sum up the great food and drinks and the great people you'll run into at JJ's wine, spirits, and cigars. They're located at 3000 West 57th Street in Sioux Falls. You can find out more about their specials and events by checking out their website at jjswine.com. JJ's Bar is now open for lunch at 11.30 every Tuesday through Saturday with great food and drinks. Then, when you're ready for an afternoon adult beverage, check out JJ's all-new happy hour from 3 to 5 p.m. every Monday through Friday and open until 3 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. This Kelloland Living segment has been sponsored by JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars. Locally owned since 1998, a true mom-and-pop shop.